About 12 hours after an outage rolled across the AT&T cell phone network, the Dallas-based company announced service is restored. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. Hi, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. AT&T still does not know, or at least has not said, what knocked out cell phone service. Fox 4's Sean Rabb joins us with one professor's theory about the widespread disconnect. Sean. Yeah, certainly AT&T knows, but based on the information we're getting from them in emails, we may not know exactly what happened. That leaves lots of room uh, for speculation. And what you're about to hear is one computer science expert's take on what took down the network. AT&T cell phone customers had their connected world stop about 2 a.m. Dallas time when people began having phone problems. The Dallas area may be hardest hit, but outages across the country. Houston, Los Angeles, Chicago, Atlanta reporting the most service interruptions. The White House said AT&T indicated it was not a cyber attack, with the FBI monitoring the situation as well. Usually it is uh, some kind of a software bug that uh, goes undetected, and if you haven't properly tested before release, uh, it can have certain unforeseen outcomes. Ravi Prakash is professor of computer sciences at the University of Texas at Dallas. Prakash lost phone service too. It is only his theory, but he feels the outage could have been sparked by a network software patch. Typically you would push these kinds of patches late at night when there are very few customers online to provide minimum disruption. Software patches to fix bugs happens all the time. For some, we do get notification for, for when you are updating your phone, but for the service provider, they are under no obligation to inform us that they are updating their own network. Networks that stand up on three prongs. The first carries voice and data from a phone to the wireless link, ultimately to another phone. He tested that, found it to be okay. I also made a call using my Microsoft Teams that UTD provides to my cell phone, which is the wireless service. That worked. So as I, that's why I'm saying maybe the core network was fine. The second component, location services. How providers know where you are and the tower you are on. So out of curiosity, I looked up Live 360, find my phone. They were all showing my correct location and the correct location of my family. So I know that that service was working even though all of them were connected over Wi-Fi. That leaves the third leg, the connection between your phone and the tower. That's where he thinks the problem occurred. And if that trust and identification doesn't work, then my phone is going to tell me that I can find a service. So uh, late this afternoon, again, Fox 4 asked if AT&T plans to address the cause, and the response in one sentence was, if there's another release, we'll let you know. Kind of a disconnect there as well. Uh, you know, service is back now for just about everybody, the company says, but uh, for 12 hours today, many people had some angst because they could not use their phones. It just shows us how much we're connected to these cell phones.